So the majority of your bouldering should focus on fingery problems, as it's the fingers in climbing that are nearly always the weakest link. But clearly there are going to be situations where it also comes in handy to have a bit of extra arm strength. A great idea is to switch focus onto juggy problems with small footholds. These can either be conventional boulder problems or what is known as system problems. System problems should be regarded more as exercises where the objective is to train the muscles rather than necessarily to do the problem. Here we see Gabby working on a typical system style jug ladder. This can either be attempted with feet on smears or footless, but the idea is that it is so hard that you can only just manage it. This is clearly so much more effective for training your arms than doing pull-ups. Note that it would actually be more efficient to climb this problem with straight arms as Gabby is doing here. but for training purposes, it's vital to bend the arms through a full range of motion and to lock off in order to attain a worthwhile training effect. To make these problems harder, you can try using smaller footholds or ultimately attempt them footless. An alternative is to use the same system training principle to create an undercut ladder, which clearly works the arms in a different way. Again, it would in fact be more efficient to climb this with straight arms. But the idea is to pull in and hold the positions in order to work the arms. You can even try counting for a few seconds whilst locking the hold to make it harder. Another example is to use a ladder track of reverse side pulls to target the shoulder muscles and build strength in this difficult position. Note that although these system problems have been designed to target the arms, you can use the same training principle to create fingery problems which work specific types of holds in repetition. How can the body tension be developed to help to keep the feet from swinging off on moves like these? Of course your body tension will improve from general steep bouldering, but there are ways of targeting it more specifically. The object of this exercise is to use two poor footholds and to try to move your hands one step at a time as far away from your feet as you can, the idea being to stop them from popping off. But what about controlling your feet when they do leave the rock? Look at the amount of body tension that is required to control the swing and to lift the feet back onto the rock on these moves. A worthwhile exercise is to use a line of good handholds in the centre with footholds far out to the side. The rule is that you're only allowed to use one foot per hand movement. and each time you must lower your legs and raise them in control without swinging. <laughs> 